Before I conclude this unit, there are a few more quick remarks I'd like to make about metabolic scaling and some of the issues surrounding it. First, the West Brown Enquist theory for metabolic scaling strikes me as being on pretty good fo footing and a very strong explanation for the observed three-quarter behavior. I'm not an expert in this field, but my reading of the literature and talking with others has me pretty well convinced that it's a, it's a solid theory. It's important to note, though, that the power law behavior does not explain everything about metabolism. It's a different sort of law, if you could want to even call it a law at all, than most of the laws of physics. So it's a very strong relationship, but we don't see, nor would we expect, every organism to fall exactly on a three-quarter power law line. That becomes even more the case when we consider uh, scaling in other systems, like some of these biological rates, and even more so when we consider ecological systems. So there's some tension, I think, around the question, or around these issues. What is more interesting? Is it the trend that we observe, or is it the variations from the trend? So for example, here is this plot again. This is heart rate versus mass. This is respiration rate versus mass. And on the one hand, there's a nice linear relationship, definitely uh, significant. On the other hand, there is some variation around that. And so I guess what I want to say in this video is it seems to me the question of which is more interesting, the trend or the variation around it, is simply a nonsensical question. So let me give a couple of analogies to uh, say why I think that's so. So let's say we're going to get ice cream and I like chocolate so I get chocolate and you like strawberry so you get strawberry ice cream. Your like of strawberry ice cream need not diminish my enjoyment of chocolate and likewise my enjoyment of the chocolate ice cream should not necessarily change your feeling about strawberry ice cream. The point being that um, one person's preference for what, what he or she finds interesting doesn't necessarily mean that the other person can't find it interesting. And in or, for that matter, maybe we both like chocolate and strawberry a lot, but I happen to be in a chocolate mood in this phase of my life, and you happen to be in a strawberry mood in this phase of your life. So we don't even have to be in competition for chocolate or strawberry, um, but one of us might prefer one over the other at a particular time. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is I don't think there's any reason to have to choose between saying, oh, the line is more interesting or the variation from the line is more interesting. Um, and if one person says, hey, here's an interesting trend, that doesn't mean that biodiversity is not interesting because interestingness, I would argue, like enjoyment of ice cream flavors, is not a limited resource. It's not like, oh, there can only be so many interesting things about ecology. And if I think something is interesting, then that must mean the other thing is not interesting. So um, I hope that um, the arguments or debates, and they're, they're not that um, all-consuming, about whether or not the line is interesting or the variation is interesting, that those are things we shouldn't get bogged down in and that they both can be interesting and pe different people can find different things interesting at different times and that's great and they all add up to even more interesting science and that maybe the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So w I hope that we continue to have people who focus on variation about the mean and I hope we also have people who focus on the mean or the trend line as well. I feel like a push and pull between um, all, of, uh, all of those different points of view is going to make for uh, better science. And so that's something I think is true quite generally, and some of the discussions around the metabolic scaling theory maybe bring that to, uh, these issues to light in a particularly clear fashion.